Hello, now whether you've been working a lot in the studio or in a live environment, you've probably come across a lot of microphones in your time, and uh, specifically you've probably come across a lot of dynamic microphones, you know, the ones that look a bit like this. Now the great thing about dynamic microphones are that they're really, really tough first and foremost, that's why you tend to see them a lot in a live environment, but they're also great at recording pretty much anything at any time. But a lot of the time, to get one of some really great quality, so we're talking about ones like Shure microphones, for example, you're looking at around about 100 quid. Quite expensive. For some people, that can be a bit difficult to get hold of, especially if, say for example, you're trying to set up a venue with a load of equipment, or you're just a band starting out, or you need a PA to set yourself up with. Well, like me, the good folks over at uh, Fifine have sent me over one of their own dynamic microphones. This is the uh, this is the K6. Now this one costs, uh, on the website, cited as a $17.99 in dollars, uh, in pounds, I paid 20 quid for it. I paid 19.99, which is so much cheaper than my uh, Shure microphone is. So let's see if it's actually going to be able to uh, live up to something like a Shure, for example. Spoilers, it's not a bad microphone at all. So again, another lovely box here. I open up to get a little bit of an instruction manual and some stuff, and then boom, microphone inside. And it's kept quite nicely in the little sleeve. So let's have a look at the microphone first, shall we? Actually, no, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at the cable first, because this is quite a nice thing about it. Dim. Not a bad little cable at all there. It's really quite long, actually. On Amazon, they have it set up as a 14.8 feet. This is a stage cable. This is a performing cable. It's pretty well for what it is, too. Not too bad at all. And uh, interesting about it is it's got an XLR on one end and a mono jack on the other end. It shows this was definitely built with live in mind. But also, uh, simply practicality. Earlier on, I was talking about, say, if you're trying to set up a venue, you might not have all the equipment you need, or just, just anything on a pinch. Having a jack end... Even though in studio environments, XLRs is always preferred over jacks, everywhere, everywhere will have a jack socket, right? Say you don't have an XLR on your desk, uh, but you do have a jack, or say you don't have an XLR free, but you need to add an XLR microphone, and there will be a jack somewhere. Just have an amp, there will be a jack. Not all of them have XLRs. Some of them do, some amps do, but everything you will find will have a jack of some kind in it, and that's what makes this so much more practical. So, for example, my, uh, my uh, audio interface uses XLRs, but also uses jacks, in case I want to do this for something else. That's a nice touch. You don't always get cables with uh, microphones as well, so at this price range, that's very, very reasonable. So we take it off its protective layer, and yeah, we can see it's already quite similar to uh, other dynamic microphones. What's nice about it is, it is metal. Actual metal, brushed metal, but it feels nice in the hand. It feels like it's not really going to slip if you start getting sweaty. The top's quite nice too, and if we uh, just take that off quickly, have a look at the diaphragm on top. Strong, good looking diaphragm up there, but what I like on here as well, you can't really tell, but if I feel the inside, I can easily sort of push down on the rims and the side of the uh, of the padding on here. But especially in the centre, there's a really nice sort of slightly domed thick part. That's going to be really, really good for not only protecting the microphone from spit, especially if you're using it for singers, but it also it should help a bit with your P's and B's. I know I, know I especially cause a lot of popping of the P's and B's. Another nice thing on this, which you don't see all the time on dynamic microphones, which, you know, it's a good feature, and more microphones should, more dynamic microphones should have it, is a simple on-off switch. Now, this is the only part of the microphone that does feel a bit cheap. It's just it's just standard plastic, but to be honest, it's fine. Um, I've, I've, I've used microphones like this before where they've had a switch that is cheaper than this, and it's falling out. This one feels like it's never really going to start falling out. I've given it a bit of torture already today, and it's been able to, it's filled with standard. It's good, and it's nice and precise. There's there's no sort of lagging on it. It is straight on, straight off, which is super super beautiful. Especially if we're once again talking about this in a live environment. Say for example, you hand a microphone to someone who uh, doesn't know how to use a microphone, and say they might point it towards one of the monitors, and it starts feeding back like hell. What if no one is near the mixing desk to switch it off? They can just off. It's a lot more easy than having to rely on the sound man, who's probably already pulling his hair out trying to get everyone sound right in the first place. The instruction manual is where we're going to get a lot of our specs. So like I said, it's a dynamic microphone. Uh, it's a cardioid, which is uh, always best for having it straight in front of you. I mean, you never really tend to have um, cardioids set up for like omnidirection or anything like that anyway. So it's straight in the front, as you would expect it. Uh, same thing for amps, which you're going to see when I mic mine up later. Uh, have it pointing straight towards the part of the speaker you want it to be at. But it picks up quite nicely, actually. I'll just flash a little spec sheet up there for you if you want to have a pause and have a look at it yourself. But just to run down a couple of things, no, it's unidirectional cardioid, obviously. Its frequency response is 50 is 50 hertz up to 18 kilohertz. Now, the good folks over at um, FiFi, when they sent this to me, uh, they sent me, obviously, uh, the Amazon link, you know, all, all, all that kind of stuff that I'm going to put in the link in the description below. And it, they do like to point out uh, how it's uh, karaoke purposes, for example. And it's pretty good for vocals, actually. Uh, definitely good for that purpose. If you were, uh, say, uh, running a pub or a club or something and wanted to have a karaoke setup, uh, a set of these wouldn't cost you too much. And to be honest, they're quite tough. 
they'll do a good job and the on-off switch will be a lifesaver for you there. But uh, one thing that it doesn't really talk about, you mentioned a small brother website, is uh, miking up for amp usage. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have this set up and we're going to have it running through a clean, a crunch and a distorted setting on the amp. Plus we're going to do uh, over a backing track as well. And I'm going to be pairing it up with a uh, Rode NT1A condenser microphone and you're going to be hearing it with that microphone included and without. Because in the studio one of the best things you would do is to sort of add that in. So really, for its studio merit, we want to hear how well it will blend with those other microphones. Let's give it a listen. So just before we go bounding on into the demos, I'm going to be running the 500 microphone and my uh, Rode uh, condenser microphone on some parts of the track through my audio interface, which is this uh, M Audio M Track Plus, and that's going to be going straight into Pro Tools. Let's hear how it sounds. So here we are, the main function of this microphone, which is of course for the voice. Now on their website, uh, find, find, uh, define it as a karaoke microphone and it'll definitely do that job really, really well. The nice feature it has is the on-off switch for that. But See, really handy, especially if you're doing, if you're using this for something like public speaking, like I am right now, or if you're doing, um, or if you're going to be actually doing karaoke, for example, if, you, if you're going to be buying this for your pub or your club or anything like that. I'm just going to sing a bit of acapella and I'm going to be switching the reverb of this on like you can now hear it now, and off, like how it's been all this time before. Just so you can hear how it sounds, it's just going to be a cappella, so it's on its own. At home drawing pictures of mountaintops With him on top 
Am I your son? We all came out to Montreux on the Lake Geneva shoreline. Oh, well, imagine as I'm facing the pews in the church corridor. No, sounds funny, but I just can't stand the pain. Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. Eight o'clock Monday night, and I'm waiting to finally talk to a girl a little cooler than me. White man came across the sea. He brought us pain and misery. Music is a word within itself. We're the language we all understand. So I'm spending a whole day playing of this, both with my uh, guitar and with my voice. What do I think? Not too bad at all, to be honest. Not too bad at all. It certainly beats this thing, which is the uh, fake, not the real uh, Shure SM58 uh, that I picked up. Seriously, don't get conned out by sort of knockoff of name brands. Instead, use your mind to get something like this. This is going to be a much, much better package. And the fact that they chuck in a really, really good cable on top of it that's got that jack end that can just be used with absolutely anything and everything. Super, super handy. Let's take it like this. If I went into a music venue, and they we, they had a load of these set up to do all my do all the vocals and amping. I wouldn't be worried at all. These do the job perfectly well. They're really, really nice little mics actually. This is going to be a part of my microphone arsenal. I like this little mic. It's a prize to me, especially for the money. So I'm going to leave a link to their website down in the description below and a link to the uh, Amazon link where I got it. Uh, once again, thank you to Five Five for sending this microphone. And uh, yeah, we might do a couple of videos on maybe uh, this microphone or a couple more of the microphones in the future. And until next time, if you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.